here. Back with another one. This time, we got top 10 most badass females in anime. Make sure y'all like the video, comment, subscribe, join the Sad Boy Army. This is by Top 10 Anime. Been a minute since I had them. They're not as consistent as VinnyTube, so I gotta make room while I can. So, yeah. Love the intro, though. In the world of anime, male characters tend to dominate the badass role. However, there are a few females who are equally as badass. Before this even gets started, I'm going to throw Urza on this list. Urza Scarlet, right there, already. So, here's a list of the top female characters, and I have tried to exclude popular anime, such as Attack on Titan, Naruto, Bleach, One Piece, Fairy Tail. <laughs> Witchcraft Works is an anime about an ordinary boy stumbling into the most popular girl in school, who is also an extremely powerful witch. She isn't very interactive and doesn't display much emotion, but she received the title of princess for her high intelligence and grades. The daily life of protecting this boy sometimes leads to some impressive fight scenes, and that's where she truly showcases just how powerful she is. Due to the training she received from her mother in early childhood, even her physical strength is in a league of its own. Capable of taking down enemies 20 times her size, she is easily one of the strongest witches in the workshop, especially when she enters overdrive. Why close your eyes? I can't watch you blow up a bunch of monsters? Like, that seems really cool. I would like to see that. This female is the main villain of the series and the leader of a terrorist organization that have caused a lot of damage. She is usually a calm character, but also a ruthless killer who even killed her father figure without any remorse. Her skills in combat are outstanding, both at wielding guns and hand-to-hand -hand combat. She has rarely missed a shot, regardless of the situation she's in. Even unstable footings like moving trains doesn't affect her shots. This applies to her martial arts skills as well, fluid, efficient techniques with precise strikes that quickly ends any encounter with this vicious fighter. She is an individual that was raised to be more like a weapon than a woman. Y'all, I was this close to watching Violet Evergarden last night. This close. Only reason I'm bringing her, her up is because that kind of reminded me of Violet Evergarden. Just the fact that she's pretty much what Violet was during the war, but Violet, the show, takes place after the war. So it's, you know... That's, yeah, that's why I just kind of thought about it. This close. I was this close to starting it. I have so many anime on my backlog, though. Like, it don't even make sense. Shiki is the main protagonist of this anime, equipped with special eyes that allow her to see the lines of a target's death. When combined with her high-speed combat skills, she becomes a formidable opponent that can take out any enemy. So she got the Tanjiro stuff. Her strength alone was enough to take out multiple people with ease. Her pain tolerance was equally high, not even flinching when her arm was twisted in midair. This incident only made her stronger, as she now has an even more powerful magical prosthetic arm that can grab things from a distance. Her already powerful base stats, coupled with all the upgrades of a magical eye, magical arm, and a mythical sword... There you go. Magical eye. She OP. No protagonist. That's all you need. A magical eye, you already considered OP. Maggie, Maggie. This team is a pure-blooded Fenalis, a hunting tribe considered to be the strongest race in the world. Young children from this race are able to easily fight on par with fully grown adults. But amongst these warriors, she is exceptionally strong, capable of destroying handcuffs meant for adult Fenalis. Her battle cry alone can frighten monsters two to three times her size. Her speed in particular is far beyond the average, enough to close large distances instantly. After receiving training in martial arts, she gained even more strength in combat, allowing her to take down groups of enemies all by herself. Dangerous monsters can't withstand more than a single strike from this young lady. We can only imagine her strength when she's a fully grown adult. <laughs> To the afterlife. Record of Grand Crest War is an anime where the world is plagued with chaos, and only lords with the power of Crest can put an end to this. But instead of focusing on that, they fight each other to steal that crest and have ultimate control. This female mercenary is one of the strongest warriors in this conflict-filled world, 
and her aggressive, uninhibited nature makes her all the more scary on the battlefield. She's essentially equal to an army, and being a demon seal holder further enhances her already powerful combat abilities when activated. You can't blame the soldiers running in fear when faced against this powerhouse. Okay. 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 It's it's already halfway through and I haven't seen somebody I've already known. There's got to be more badass females that I know than Urza. I can't think of them right now. Like, I'm expecting just to pop them up and be like, Oh, yeah, she was. You know, one of those kind of things. This secondary character doesn't make many appearances, but when she does, she makes sure to leave an impact. She is an elegant, calm personality who isn't afraid to state what's on her mind, regardless of how insensitive it may be. She plays a mental role to her younger siblings and trains them in a harsh way, but that ultimately shapes them into strong warriors of themselves. Even amongst the elites, she stands near the top as an exceptionally skilled spirit world warrior. She is one of the very few that can make use of glaciate barriers. Her combat abilities and weapon wielding skills allowed her easily take on multiple demons without breaking a sweat. In fact, it's rare to see her show any emotions of struggle, and watching her fight with this fantastic animation is definitely a visual treat. <laughs> She sound broken, but then again, everyone here does sound broken, so... the brains of this anime, she is the brawn, and together they make the perfect team. She is from a famous family known to produce the strongest warriors out of all... So at this point, I'm just assuming that it's like, uh, unknown anime, or lesser known anime, because ain't no way Urza the only strong, like, badass female that I've known. Ain't no way. There's got to be more than just Urza. I've watched a lot of anime. Like, there's got to be... Unless they're just talking about strength-wise. Because I was about to say, like... Riza Hawkeye, she's already badass. Just from her actions. She's not even that strong, but she's she's badass. Because she's in there doing the things she's doing. Elite families in this show. As a child, she underwent severe training on a daily basis. Which made her into a formidable soldier by the young age of 17. However... Due to her soldier-like upbringing, she has a rather serious and strong personality, as opposed to the more relaxed and easygoing nature of the protagonist. True, Violet Evergarden is already... True, I haven't watched it yet, so I might be wrong, but I'm just, like, thinking, like, you know, the girl from Gunslinger Girl, she... she's badass, she, like, bro. Nevertheless, their contrasting personalities complement each other perfectly by balancing each other out. Not many people would want to fight her head on, and the unfortunate I need to find out. I need her, to find out. Usually live to tell the tale. Look at my anime list. High School of the Dead. I haven't seen it, but I, I can tell. Yeah, I've seen things about it. it says no, she's uh, she's so badass. Entertaining zombie apocalypse show, despite the excessive fan service. The majority of this survival. Also, heard a lot about the fan service in that show. Out of them, this kendo expert stands at the top for combat ability and mental fortitude. She oh my goodness. Fortitude. I started Glipnir. I know this is so off topic. I didn't even remember. I started Glipnir. I watched like two episodes and I was like, I'm going to come back to this. Never came back to <laughs> Bro. Just started watching something completely different. But far more level-headed and dependable than most adults. She is a crucial member of the team that helped them survive many close encounters with zombies. What makes her a badass is her skills with the blade. She is capable of killing a living man with a single strike using a wooden blade. It turns out that this apocalypse is sort of a good environment for her, as she can finally embrace her hidden, violent, sadistic nature and kill her zombie enemies with pleasure. Okay, yeah, I remember her. I remember seeing her. Revy is a short tempered. So, number one, gotta be Urza. If it's not Urza, I'm a little upset. I'm a tiny bit upset. Because now we have more well known Black Lagoon, High School of the Dead, we have more well known things. Situations. To me, I guess. I, I guess I know it well more. With the skills but, to get out shoot. tricky situations, and she is one of the deadliest fighters in the series, and the main gunslinger of the series. But when you think of and badass women, like who gun. comes to mind first? But Urza Scarlet. Superhuman abilities. To I don't even like fairy tale like that. Around with great agility certainly aids her in maximizing her kill count, which stands at around 128 kills over the span of the series. Not many would want to confront her and only a handful of people are able to hold their ground against this deadly woman. 
I like that beat right there. Oh, that's a girl from Gunslinger Slinger Girl, right? Okay, okay, this this is this okay. I'm okay with this one. She's technically a man in the real world. Never mind, never mind. Take it back. I take it right. I'm joking. I'm joking. It's fine. It's whatever. <laughs> I'm joking. Version of Europe during the late interwar period. Unfortunately, women don't have equal rights, and the only way to mm. secure this list, bro. I'm looking at oh, also what he said. This list I'm looking at my anime list. Things I've seen. Yeah, there's some some. Becoming a some fall offs in this. At the exceptionally young age of just nine. Her talents, strategies, efficiency, and ruthlessness. That's not a gunslinger girl. Is it? That is not gunslinger girl. That's a different. This is a different anime I'm talking about. I was thinking about her when talking about gunslinger girl though. Is still far away. Because I watched one episode of Gunslinger Girl and I was like, you know what? I'm a I'm a pause this for a little bit because I was just not interested. But it was also one episode, so I couldn't like drop it, drop it, you know, and be like, bro, this is this is not it. List the most badass female who does go any mainstream anime. Okay, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. No mainstream anime. Um, <laughs> in the first place, we have a transgender male, not female. Oh well, not getting into that. I don't even know. Why I read that out loud. Um, when was the last time Top Ten Anime dropped a video? Cause it, I swear it's been a minute. I swear it's been a minute. Um, seven days ago, See, two weeks, I like, oh, I have some, most of these on the playlist, actually, <laughs> that's the funny part. All right, let me just go through real quick and see who could have also been on this list. Um, Inuyasha, I dropped the mess out that, but like, so I really don't know. This is my drop list, not my completed list. There's my complete, Baki, I'm not gonna lie, I hate Baki's girlfriend. I hate her, so she's not in it. My hero, honestly, I can't really think of anyone... Really? Who deserves it? Like, I mean, I guess Uraraka, but she does she really? You know, Noragami, the the chick, the the you know the chick with the lion, and like all those uh the regalia. Yeah, she deserves it. She badass as hell. Fate Zero. I'm gonna throw Saber, of course, Saber. Um. Yeah, I I yeah Saber. JoJo's Diamonds Unbreakable. I mean, that was though. That wasn't the gangster one. That was a uh, Giro. So no, Trish was so cool. I love Trish in, in uh Goldwyn though. Uh, Face Day Night. Uh, I'm Saber again, of course. Slime, slimy schlatt. I don't think there are any badass women in there. I mean, there's she she owned, but she her thing is just she can't cook, and she got a temper. She's really childish. Like this, you know? Tokyo Revengers. No, nah, not one. Not a one I can think of. Steinsgate, nope. Goodness, I have a lot of fate on here. Psychopaths. Nope. Not that I can think of. Mega Little Box, nope. Epo? Nope. Not even his girlfriend. This is the only female I think I, I actually like remember from the show, and she's not, not badass. I don't think there's any in one piece. Like and let me if you if you count, I guess Big Mom, but like, is she? Is she really? You know. Um, Promise Neverland. I mean, Emma is a dub, walking dub, but I wouldn't say she's badass. Tokyo Ghoul. Yeah, uh, the main love interest. I don't know about that one. Naruto the last. I don't know. Soul Eater. Nope. Prison School. Nope. Death Note, nope. Bruh, this chick of my, like, this one of my friends. I, so, she, she hasn't seen Death Note. This, now I'm gonna end the video on this. She, she hasn't seen Death Note, but she swears she loves the Death Note movie. She's like, it's so good. Like, I'm like, bro, just stop it. Just stop it. Just watch Death Note. Just stop it. She's the same one who's in Hunter, like, trying to watch Hunter Hunter in the Chimera Ant arc, and it's slacking. And I'm just like, bro, just finish it up. Just finish it out. You know you're gonna enjoy it. Just finish it out. I'm just like, but it's so boring so far. Like, I know, but it's gonna get better. I promise you. I promise you. I got I got bored of the narration too at that point, but I promise you it's gonna get better. So she watching this sub too. So yeah, I don't know. I hope y'all enjoy. I'm going I'm gonna get out of here. I gotta make sure she she watching <laughs> anime. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I'm trying to see like get her to the point where she can watch Death Note. 
I know she's gonna love that. So, hope you enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out. Peace.